Hello, welcome back to Archer's Place Dead Cells. I'm kind of not necessarily into the uh, run that we're about to embark upon. I... This being said, this is the uh, the Hayabusa boots, which is somewhat better than the Spartan sandals, I have to be honest. Oh. Thank you for Malachite. But... Like, the crossbow does not fill me with joy. Uh, how did you hit me when I was on the other side of you when you pounced? I think I understand how your pouncing works, or at least I did. I rolled, but... Okay, there's a large cooldown after, as well as before you fire this um, explosive crossbow, in which you cannot roll. So, don't sort of face off against... <laughs> nah, do you know what? I started off negatively, and maybe that's um, a, a trait of mine that I could work on, but... I don't need this cursor. Be gone. Um, tempted to go for a survival run because I know that we have some things unlocked that are decent and also at least half have a survival build to them. So we should try that instead of just assuming that because we have a melee weapon now we're going to want one forevermore. Yeah, let's let's try and learn from our mistakes and grow as a player. We did. Oh, <laughs> sorry, had to produce the boots. I enjoy you in in a platonic manner, but being able to roll past these enemies and guarantee crit them is worth so much more. You could not possibly understand because you are merely a collection of pixels. And were you even not so much a collection of pixels, but an animated object, well, uh, uh, you will always be an inanimate object. Was going to be my point, but I said it wrong. Even if you were a true, uh, a true object in this world, I, I, I don't think you would ever understand your value to me. It's a curiously human concept of paying tribute to, um, basically inanimate objects, things that have served you well. I'm attempted not to do this. What? Can we see what it is? It's a crossbow. I think I'm okay with what we've got. So I'm not going to risk yikes, losing my um, sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Just over the possibility of getting a crossbow. If we get to 30 or we get hit, maybe I'll go and see what that is, but I don't want to get hit. At 26 kills. Especially since I've taken two minutes over it already. I'm not into a shield run right now. But honestly, um, if we look back at the previous run, when I was into a shield run, I think I did really well. Um, please bear in mind, I have been trying, and I hope that it shows, to, uh, to branch out my specialty. And my specialty so far has been this weapon that we have once again got. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Not with 27 kills. You are the bane of my existence. I'm gonna have to. There should be. A, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I, I think we did really well in the previous one. Quite honestly. As do you. I know that you agree. Because I am the streamer. Turn around. Right eyes. Come up here, why don't you? Cowards. That's 30. Right, I don't have to worry anymore. Whew. That is how careful I can be. Now you know how careful I can be. Hey, what's that? Now I got good time starting. Daydream Believer. Oh, that song. I haven't heard that for years. Maybe I should put up my playlist. Monkeys? Was that the monkeys? Yeah, I didn't even take any. Oh, it's a... oh, I've had the heavy crossbow all this time. I thought I had the explosive. I mean, at the very least, at least we can sell this one. <laughs> Which means probably I shouldn't have taken this one, should have taken the other one. But Oh, I've missed a special area. Well, thank you for letting me get to exactly. Oh, I've got 32. Thank you for letting me get to 30 kills without taking damage. Oh, should we do this? 
Yes, because we have twice as much money as that and no LT. And we need um, we need drops from things. What do we need drops from? What did we die fighting last time? Was it one of them wormy dudes? I think I threw the grenade at a worm. Oh, there was a teleport. <laughs> um, and then it was just terrible, terrible timing. I didn't clear out the bash. Didn't clear out the area before I did it. I'm harkening back a couple of weeks now. Hopefully, you lot remember. Oh, that was a trouty burp. <laughs> Polished. I had a, a trout and cream cheese sandwich. Smoked trout and cream cheese sandwich. Um, I think an ice grenade four plus is much better than a wolf trap. Because it does perform basically the same function. And it's ice. I like ice. And it's a grenade. We can... Look, we don't have that mutation anymore. Well, well, look who's here. Uh, we have the meat skewer to unlock. Let's you get behind your enemy. I'm... Okay. I mean, there's the ice cross... We've got lots of things to unlock now. I'm happy with this. There was a brief period, do you remember? <coughs> oh, excuse me. When um, we had basically nothing worth putting our cells in. We have a lot of red things now, by the way. This is not the correct <laughs> behavior, but I think when we've used our hunter's grenade, we can probably start using green things again. Also, we're going red and green, so why not? Um, parry, parry. Pretty good. Parry, parry. This one might be really good if I get really good at parrying, but right now it's not. I'm tempted by this one, but for now I think we're just going to go with heck of DPS. I like the reduced cooldown when we've got a grenade run going on, so we'll do that. Um, I was talking about, I was saying... Yeah, it was good that we've managed to get some things that it's worth putting our cells into, because we kept dying before we could get to the point where we wanted to use our cells on the, uh, the, the bigger forge guy, you know, the blacksmith who can permanently upgrade our runs. There's a long way to go, by the way. Oh, you've done what? We learned from that before, and we're still doing it wrong. I appreciate the uh, enemies burn when they die, especially since it's coming from... Oh, the dagger. I was going to say it's coming from the uh, thing we're not using, but it, it is not. <laughs> it's not true at all. So that's the thing we want to throw the dagger at. The, the, the grenade at. Nope, not this one. So, okay, I remember now. The first time we did it on one of these worms, we um, forgot to pick up the thingy that lets us continue to use it. Um, I'm happy with brutality now, but brutality survival seems like a good build for this one because of the uh, range part as well. So let's clear out this area. Make sure nothing's going to spawn on us. Do that. And then pick this flaming thing up. Okay, good. Now do this. Nope. Don't care about that. Hurt me. Hurt me more, baby. Hurt me, daddy. Hurt me more. Do these things count as uh, cooldown? Reducing these. Get off! <laughs> oh, you have to do it from a... Nice! Run away. Heal. That was worth it. As long as we get through this, uh, what's this called? Level. As long as we get through this level now, we're fine. And we've only used one heal. And honestly, I do not mind tanking that damage at all. That was 100% worth it in my book. Can you please show me where I'm going, not where I've been? Is there like a feedback forum for the devs? Because um, trailing behind me when I'm running fast in the forward direction is really, really unhelpful. This is going to be survival, obviously, because I don't think tactics are useful in any way right now. Ow. Stop! <laughs> Doing it wrong. What? Excuse me? There is no bad guy. <laughs> oh, he's hit. Alright. He's supposed to be invisible. Nice! Happy with that. Does this work? Yes. Alright, come up here. Just stay where I can see you, douse the lights. I didn't even know that Joker was there, and I have beaten him. Fair and flipping square, mate. Or hail. This crossbow is great. Especially with it being bolstered by my 
uh, by my build. I, I got excited by the shiny thing on the ground and realized it was a very dull thing indeed. I, I appreciate the noises of it. Oh. What a... What a satisfying sound. That was not good. I knew that thing could hit me quickly and I didn't do anything about it. Look, don't worry about it. You know, you've, you've achieved an important thing in this particular run. Is there a, a food? No. Well, I am seeing an, a couple of options of things up there. Let's go and get a new um, skill. We might as well. We've used our primary skill already. There we go. So we should probably make use of a new one, even if it's not a favorite. Having a second thing to fall back on. Can't imagine it's going to hurt too much. You want to be careful with the older. Uh, you going to come and get me or what? No, don't do that. Nice. At least I'm learning a little bit from my attempts. <laughs> my thwarted and abortive attempts at using various weapons have at least give me some instinct of when to stop trying. We're going to take this because we can. Also, it's uh, green, which I didn't realize. That's good. Green and purple, not just purple. It's a very 80s trend, but, you know, if it's your style, if it's your scheme, by all means, don't let me stop you. Don't let the, uh, don't let the opinions of a streamer, YouTuber, joker, loser, flipping let you I'm not going to take this on the very simple reasoning that it's purple <laughs> and we have a couple of semi reasonably decent uh, skills already that work with our build much better I said <laughs> I, I know I said that I would that these are my sort of meditative times and then I just waffle on about gameplay I do like to let my mind wander, but a lot of the time I don't think to speak it. Which is really strange, because that is literally the purpose of this series. You, know, you let your mind wander whilst you're playing. I think what really happens is, when my mind is wandering, uh, there's just silence. There's dead air, and I, I can't allow that. I recognise I just activated the portal and then ran back to this one. <laughs> Not correct. Come back. But, you know, it takes pra everything takes practice. And I feel like I'm already better at the game and uh, generally waffling on <laughs> about what I'm doing than I was when I first started. So here we are. I am currently on my own. Is that an infantry bow? 2,000 It was a quick bow. Uh, 2,000 was cheap enough for me to find out. Uh, I'm on my own. Yes, ramparts. Let me out. Because we won the thingy. I don't care. I know it's the ramparts. I know we could be doing uh, a more difficult run. Pardon me while I adjust my microphone. I know we could be doing a much more difficult run. We didn't get 60. That's fine. Uh, I just wanted this. Valmont's whip. Look, it's a critical hit. Yes, we've we've seen that one in the past. Very long time ago. But have I seen it? In my playthrough of this game? I am not convinced. So we would like to reef. Uh, we can't quite afford that. I'm not gonna. I can't reforge these modifiers without upgrading it, which is very interesting because everything else usually has both options. Why? A critical wound. So this is critting all the time. Is that always true? Yes. I'm already shooting an arrow in front of me. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm tempted now to try this. Just to keep us going. Keep us going full steam. I don't really have much to say. Well, I have something. I, I can talk about many things right now. Um, but I know that my my sort of my mode of chat recently in, in general has been to lose what I was saying halfway through because something that attracts my attention, something that requires my attention happens in the game. Uh, which is not grand. Like, for example, that one time recently when we are... Uh, ooh, exploding corpses. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, look, what? I was behind you, I'm sure. I don't like that they get to pounce so far. It's very rude. Uh, last time we were on this one, we were doing quite well at not getting hit. 
and then somehow he managed to fail to grab onto the very ledges that I'm constantly complaining about him grabbing onto without permission. That's amazing. Thank you. Don't even care about the change of... Yeah, it's a shooting arrow. Who cares about the arrow? We will reforge that later and try and get something good like burning back. We haven't got any destinations. Okay. Uh, because the burning was actually kind of energizing with our ice grenade here, which until recently, or in, in the general case, is good for... Wow. <laughs> it's really good. Um, in the general case, is excellent for crowd control. And of course, if an enemy has burned as a result of it... Whew, mad skills, bro. Um, they immediately thaw out. I see this. I'm going to try and avoid failing to grab onto a ledge. I can possibly avoid it. What? I fully disagree with that. Shields versus grenades. Who wins? Who won? Who's not? Uh, ERB. No! Oh! Sorry for everyone falling asleep. <laughs> I, thank you for watching. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, I didn't see it. Hey, look. That one, that was on me. I didn't see it. I'm okay. I'm not going to complain about that one because I don't feel like it was the uh, game taking liberties uh, of my good nature. Of which I have much. Okay. What are you trying to say? So I haven't really got much to talk about that I think I can continue to talk about without getting so distracted by gameplay, which is not the point. The point is to talk about stuff and not pay attention to the gameplay. But then I'm not quite at the level of this game where I can just look at um, a situation and know exactly how to resolve it. You know? What is that? Do you see that zappy thing? There's a lightning bolt going between me and my actual bolt. Also, here comes my HP back. Because we're not going to get hit for the next 30 enemies, 60 enemies, we're going to get full HP without actually using a charge on our flask. So, this is going to be perfect. Nice. I'm glad that we don't get hurt by our own explosion, because I'm already sick of getting hurt by other enemies' explosions. I feel like we could go far on this run, don't you? I'm hearing the noise... There's a background noise in the music, and it makes me feel like there's someone knocking on the door or something nearby me. Crush a five. Four. Okay. This is fine. It's the same thing. Uh, we did have damage to a burning target, but then we lost our burning targeting, so... Sorry, we gained burning target. We lost the freezing thing, but we've already got freezing. It, it's, it's a zero-sum game. I don't mind. Well, not zero-sum. The, the modifiers were a zero-sum game. The actual item... It's a huge increase if we ever use it, which I'm <laughs> less and less inclined to imagine that I will do. I do like, whenever I see water, I just feel like I should just use my ice grenade because it's there to be used. This build is working out well for me. I appreciate, in fact, that they've given me two, oh, two scrolls that only have green on them that I want. And that, was a, that one was red. I only wanted red. I'm not taking purple. So it hasn't actually given me a red and green only scroll in which I have to decide between them. Whoa! Ha! Ah, Another red and purple. This is perfect. You stop it. As long as no enemy... What's really got me down in the past is when an enemy has been off the screen and managed to shoot me whilst I'm in some fracar, some melee that I am fully concentrating on, thoroughly invested in not screwing up, and then one of those wizards just owns me from off screen and I'm going, excuse me? Not how this game works. <laughs> I'm not into that at all. Careful. I nearly got that one wrong as well. Keep poisoning that. I I'm okay with that. You can see me, can't you? Yeah, so he keeps hopping backwards because he won't just flip and turn around. Oh, that didn't work. Have this then. I've got that. Might as well flip and well use it. Give me power. Good. There we go. Nope. That one. There we go. Bait and switch, mate. Bait and switch. Classic technique. I was watching so much TEDx today. I'd forgotten about it, to be honest. And then someone posted it in, the, in Abax Discord server. 
Just um, just a quick one on. Uh, it's almost like the Joel guy, who who does the, you know the email scams that he responds to. There's a chap like that, and he was literally he did a six or seven minute talk, actually about nothing. But the the premise of the talk um, was that this is how to sound interesting, right? And it was great because he did sound interesting. No. I stomped you, and I rolled far enough away to not get hit. See, that bothers me, right? Because I saw that I'd made a mistake, tried to fix the mistake, still got punished for it. Doesn't seem right. Because I couldn't undo the mistake in the way that I wanted to, which was to sort of reset the board. But it would not let me get there. So I had to try my best to do it a different way. Oh. Um, it was a very interesting talk, very funny, funny people. So then I watched another one on, uh, that was just, <laughs> it's all right. We have already reset our 60 counter by being a complete noob rather than by doing something. I think the thing is some mistakes are noob mistakes. Some mistakes are like mistakes I wouldn't know that I could make. Thank you, Crusher. Wesley Crusher. The Wesley Crusher. Um, but this is way better, so heck. Um, it looks like the shield can actually block the crush, although I was pretty sure I was on the correct side of that crush. Nope. Just die from poison. I don't care how you die, just stop attacking me. How? See, how can I survive a thing like that and then fail a simple task like earlier? This is such an inconsistent gameplay style. It's no wonder it's so frustrating watching me. Like, I was literally scratching my leg when I came upon this guy. Didn't see it. It just stood there staring at me and then sort of gave me the opportunity to realize that I'd made a mistake. And, and continued. I want to go... I've done that wrong. Never mind. Come, let's... Yeah. I'm, I'm going to solidly guess that there's nothing in here. But it would be grand and gravely to be able to... Um... No. I can... How long have I been able... I just, oh, I am learning! I hope everyone else is fully aware of what I just learned, because... I'm going to explain it anyway. You can shoot while crouching, <clears throat> which means that you can ranged attack... A ranged attacker like that. Do you think that the magicians, the wizards, of this particular coast aim at where your head would be if you weren't crouching? Do they think that they are sort of gamically, um, I don't know, restricted by their meta, excuse me, meta knowledge, i.e. I don't even need that because I've got that mutation, i.e. vis-a-vis, -vis, and that is to say... Is that it? Just that? I might as well go upwards. This is a little bit longer than I expected it to be. I apologise. Please don't stop watching. <laughs> I'll sponsor at the end of this video. I have no sponsors. No one cares. Um, it's a social trap. I am alone. Forever alone. Hey, do you remember Rage Faces? I miss those. I miss the old memes. You know, these kids are... Kids these days don't know that they've got an internet, whereas we used to be grateful for whatever meme came along, even if it did come from 4chan. You know? Oh, man. Raised faces were the greatest memes. And I think the thing is, you know they're a great meme because they're still kind of relevant. You can still use them now. You know, there's a... There's a whole option of... There's a, there's a selection still left over from when they were things. Do I just have to run around crouched? And then you can't hit me. Because I can do that whilst crouched as well. You can attack while crouched. Of course you can. Like, the the original troll face, right? The forever alone guy, the M Migusta, you know? Remember those? I mean, it's hard to forget if you uh, go to F7U12 on Reddit, but what happened there? I thought he got stunned and it was me that got stunned. I saw it fall to its knees, and then all of a sudden I'm taking damage. That's not how this works.
Just take. I'm killing everything because I'm mad. And not in the lunatic way. I'm just outraged. I was saying that, I'm on my own. Yeah, let's just get on the lift. The boring slow lift. Jen's gone to some weird ass cadets thingy in some part of the world that I've never heard of. Uh, rally. Uh, pool. No? Uh, it's, it's on the south coast. It's on the coast because of how there's, you know, water there and the cadets. It's the sea cadets, you know? For the, for the navy. You know the navy? That's the, that's the form of uh, beating people up that is on water rather than the form of beating people up. Oh, oh, no. I hate that we have to pay attention to these. Like, where did, how am I supposed to not take damage from that? Well, I didn't even know it was going to happen, right? Someone needs to justify these um, these new attacks to me and also explain them to me, right? Because I took a lot of damage from... Ah, there is a thing. I took a lot of damage from an attack that I was unaware of. Like, there was no telegraphing it. As far as I could tell, there was no telegraphing. And many of these elites just create some sort of area of effect force damage thingy that I'm not quite sure how to recognize. I mean, if I could figure out how to recognize them, by all means, give me that. But it just appeared and did damage, and it was surrounding the enemy to a considerable degree. An enemy that, by the way, can teleport to me. <laughs> um, I think we put some money into... Something that we're not going to unlock immediately. The enemy dies, the mark spreads. That sounds good. That sounds like a very good... Um... Um... Have I got a Bernie thing? No, so I'm okay with this. We have poison and poison. So I can chuck a grenade into a, a cloud and hurt everything a lot. I think we take combo. We're, we're a primarily melee build, so even though we have a reasonable spread of um, oh, seven and four, uh, we have a lot of survival points. Not as many. Maybe I'm going to put some more in? Probably. Uh, but we're still primarily melee, which means primarily we're red, which primarily we want to focus on the um, skills that, that the mutations that we get from that. So this dude's poisoned, right? So now we just do this. Oh, he's not poisoned anymore. Nice poison. Have it. Have it, by the way, is a Mancunian word, which means take this, you blighter. This is bad. <laughs> blighter is an English word, which means one. Oh! Oh! Legend. One, uh. Be softened by blight. Be softened? No, be ridden. Be be blighted. I guess. <laughs> I actually don't know. You're, you're slow. Just do this for a while. Nice. You don't have very many of these, so make use of them while you still can. Oh, missed. No good. What's causing the poison? Uh, I just want to double check. Uh, dodging creates a toxic cloud. That's amazing. So, don't at me. I recently learned about the concept of a hot take. Which is where you express an opinion that may be considered against the norm. But that you consider to be the correct one. I mean, obviously you're going to consider most of your opinions to be the correct one. Uh, but... It, it implies that you feel that people have not, no, not noticed... Uh, a critical error in their judgment rather than that oh that was silly rather than that oh they um no I thought it was over no I'm mistaken you don't get oh he doesn't lame that was terrible I had it in my little brain there that he only got a limited number of the zappy attacks, but it is not the case. Oh, fool. He gets a limited number of shields. 
So I took damage there when I really didn't need to, and we could have got through that without taking damage. Uh, I, I was trying to talk about something else in order to distract myself from the fact that that was an option. And I, I failed, so sorry. I apologize to everybody. 10% will be... That's really good. Hey, what the hell was I even talking about? Hot takes, man. I learned this from, uh, from once again, Northern Lion, who just talks and talks and talks. Much like me. But he will... Because he's playing... Let's, let's do the Sanctuary. This new. I haven't been there for a while. Uh, because he's doing a game that he has got thousands, literally thousands of hours in, and he can just switch off and play it, and it will just glide through. That's fine. Uh, that's where I want to get. Um, let's talk about this concept of a hot take. And um, it is basically where you have an opinion about something that most people would not necessarily consider as the correct one. And more importantly, I think, um, your opinion is correct. I've just got infinite shots for this, haven't I? What did I do to deserve that? By the way, our synergies are amazing. Um, and I think I have at least one. <laughs> oh. Which is, I have no problem with the word like. The, as a filler word, as an interjection. As a replacement for the word um or uh, right? I, uh, people really dislike this. That thing just died. Probably because of all the dots that I have just flooding my uh, knowledge right now. I'm no problem with it. I think it's a perfectly fine word. And the reason... I have a reason. I have reasonings. Um, it, it, it is a filler word. And it doesn't actually replace the word um or the word er. Uh, and I'm not saying that it's a... You know, cromulent word for situations in which those words themselves are frowned upon. For example, when I was a kid, my mum used to play this game where she would count the number of times a radio presenter would say um or uh, uh on during their show. Um, it would be a it, it used to be a, a sort of a metric of how good the presenter was as to whether you <laughs> they could get through an entire sentence um, without saying those things, right? Because I mean, one one trick to doing so is just to slow down. And when you're on radio, you're probably more aware that there are you're under much more scrutiny from people like that. But also, you, you have a captive audience. You can take your time. I mean, I have a captive audience right now, but I'm not very good at it. Right? Which means that I'm going to um and I'm going to uh and I'm going to forget what I was doing. Plus, a radio presenter has one job, which is to present the radio show. I am currently doing two jobs, which is to play a game and talk about it at the same time. So that's, that's twice as hard. It's literally twice as much work to do. Uh... See, uh, um. So I'm going to um and er a lot whilst I talk about this with you. There's no way I'm getting through this without getting hit. <laughs> uh, I think we'll come back to this, maybe. Even though it's surrounded on both sides by horrendous and lethal traps. The the concept of an um and an er, in, in general conversation, sorry, is... In, in my opinion, I'm not an ex. Don't take this as me having researched anything or anything like that. This is the reason I don't have a problem with the word like as a non word, as an interjection, etc. etc. Oh, well, thank you for the, the prior knowledge that there was absolutely nothing else to do anyway. Um, um, it's th these words simply serve to explain to your conversational partner that you, you haven't finished, <laughs> right? There is more yet to come. I have more words to say. I mean, for you, that's probably obvious because I'm still here, right? I, why would I stop talking? You know when I've got less to say because I will stop saying it. Help. This is too much. I did not mean to be down here. And this particular area has... Yeah, I, I couldn't get out of there. That defeated me. <laughs> okay. 
I, I slam the ground, forgetting that what's going to happen is everywhere I've already been is now a uh, danger again. So don't forget that. The trick to this level is to not forget that you could easily be just jumping into a, a golem. I, f for me, it's just me telling you that, yeah, I know, there's a bit of quiet. Um, give me a minute, right? What is this? Oh, it's where our door used to be, I understand. No. That's much better. A nice slowed down golem. Give me that any time. Guardian scroll is survival. Uh, but for uh, a conversation, it's, it's an interaction between two people. But often you have to think about what you're saying, right? It's not like you're given free reign of the... It's not a debate. You're not given the floor and other people aren't allowed to speak. And if the other person in your conversation has a thought, they're likely to want to express it. And if you go quiet, especially if the person can't see you, I think this is important. Obviously, um, body language can do a lot. But, you know, it's not guaranteed. The idea of saying um or uh or something like that is just to fill in that gap whilst you're thinking about it. And even if... Yeah, I think we'll predominantly go red whilst we can. Even if you, you know, don't need that moment usually. Oh, that was really good. I very much appreciated that. Um, like, just exactly that situation. I went, um, and I just opened my mouth and then stared at the screen, trying to remember what I was talking about and where I was going with it. And we're not taking a cursed chest on this flaming floor. And I got such an itchy nose. Please excuse me. This is the whiskey itch, except I haven't had any whiskey for ages. It means I have a thought that I'm formulating. Please let me express it. I haven't finished. And if you want to, like, if the other person in the conversation wants to go, sure, okay, I, uh, that's fine. But there's protocol to be upheld. Oh, this is not... <laughs> I want to explore the rest of this floor to see if there's anything good, but at the same time, I'm very reluctant to do anything else. I really appreciate these things being slow. I think a large part of this is this uh, slowed thing is that I've noticed a lot. Let me just uh, go back to the game for a minute. I don't know if it's just me, but unless I've got a weapon that I'm extremely comfortable with, like this uh, backstabby weapon, this assassin's blade, it doesn't seem to balance. Even even with it, let's let's go even ooh, even further with this. Even with the assassin's blade. Hello. Um, I don't feel like actual damage in this game is any good at all. If I'd gone down the middle of that, I would have been fine. Just just to let you know. But I was afraid. So I didn't. Thank you. I appreciate you rewarding me for my... Some reward. <laughs> um, the, the melee does not seem to balance with the defense. And I think we know this, which is why shields are so good. But um, if I had a shield, I can understand how that would be really good. Because right now... Yeah. As soon as I come up against one of these losers, that's it. I'm dead. Right? I have to get this ice grenade out. I can't do anything. I'm literally stuck. That's exactly what I was going to say. If I cannot stop that thing from hitting me, I am dead. Right? There was nothing I could do. I was completely stunlocked for the entire thing. There was explosions going on around me. And all I did was not notice that I couldn't throw my ice grenade. And I was just about to say, the defense in this game is completely 100% unbalanced against, like compared to the offense. I, there's no way I could have had enough offense in that bit just now to have damaged that golem fast enough that it could not have stunlocked me, right? But with one throw <laughs> of an ice grenade, it is completely over. With one parry of any of those attacks, 
that golem would have been down, right? And it's just... You should be able to play this game, all guns blazing, beating the ever-loving crap out of everything, if you wanted to. You'd obviously be in constant danger, but you shouldn't be able to just take over the game with one build and have no opportunity in another build. And that's what it feels like right now. I know I'm ranting again, it happens all the time, but I shouldn't have died there. I could have left ages ago and gone on with the game, but I wanted to explore a little bit more, and all of a sudden, one golem completely ruins the entire level, the entire run, just because it is capable of stun locking me and bashing me into enemies that can then, like, I had to run away somewhere because those explosions were gonna get me. And I knew that the golem was eventually gonna drag me back anyway. I had to wait for my, the, the, the grenade to cool down. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? I missed with my only chance. I don't know. Even when I've got a really good defensive run, you make one mistake and there's nothing you can do about it. And I think that's the reason I rant at the end of so many of these episodes is that if you make one mistake, you're done. I shouldn't be done. I should, I, the only mistake I should be making is if I run into a melee with no HP left, you know, or take so much damage that I'm constantly walking on eggshells, but no, no single encounter should be able to put me in that position. It should be decisions that I make. And it wasn't a decision that I made. It just happened, and then all of a sudden it's over. It's like real life. You know, I don't play a game to have it the same as real life, except for Cataclysm, which I'll probably record soon. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening to me rant. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will join me in the next episode. And as always, I'll see you later.